Hi everybody, thanks for joining Create with D. Today we'll be making this card and it showcases the stamp set Love is Kindness as well as using three different sets of the Stampin' Up's Blendabilities, the alcohol-based markers. So what I did is I stamped the image onto a piece of Whisper White cardstock cut at two and three quarters by three and three quarters and the ink I'm using is Memento Tuxedo Black ink. <laughs> we want to make sure to use this because this is the ink type that plays well with the blendability markers. And so in order to color the image, what I did is I always like starting with the bigger image on the on the stamp set first and I'm using the pink pirouette um, color palette for the for the tulips and I've pulled off the cap and I'm using the wide brush end and I'm just going to go ahead and because this is a small image I'm going to start out by adding color to all of the tulips. Okay so just with that light of a touch and you know I'm, I'm not pressing very hard using my my markers here with my blendability very very gentle touch and coloring because you don't want to press down on the tip of the brush and you know and basically ruin the brush on it okay so that was the lightest I'm coming in with the medium and each of these on the side it'll say whether it's the medium the medium light or dark version of that color okay so now I'm gonna add a little more depth an interest to the flower and I'm keeping I'm kind of swooping on the bottom kind of making a little u-shape on the bottom here bringing the color up as much as I want and with the blendabilities um, the more you go over the image with your um, with your markers the more rich and saturated it's going to be okay so now I've got the dark the dark pink and Again, for right now, before I start blending, I'm just really going to get those areas that I want to get, you know, the darkest, the darkest color on it. And in this time, I'm going to choose the bottom. Okay, so I could stop right there. You know, that looks pretty good, but I'm going to keep blending just to kind of show you guys how this works. I'm going to pick up the lightest color, and I'm going to face this to me for just a second. And I'm going to take that back over and really work these colors. And can you see the difference? Hopefully this doesn't blur if I hold it up here. But it takes it from having some distinct lines to a more blended look. Hence the name, Blendabilities. Okay, so I'm going to do that on a couple of them, just for examples here. And then if I want to come back and keep working the color. So I'm going to choose this one here and I'll just show you how as you keep building up your color layers and the blending on it, like it just gets more and more rich looking. And maybe rich might not be the best description, but maybe, you know, color saturation. It really, you know, dives right in there. And so the beauty of this is that you can just keep playing with it until you get the look that you want on each of your leaves. Okay, so hopefully you can kind of see, you know, where you can go and you can stop, guys, anywhere in this process that you want whenever you're happy with what your flowers look like. And then we also used, or then I used wild wasabi to color the leaves. And I'm pulling the lightest color. And on this one, if you wanted to, you could get the fine point to it. Oops, somebody's at the door. Just sorry about that interruption. Some friends stopped by to say hi real quick. So I get just to kind of finish up the coloring here. Again, taking the wild wasabi and the thin one and coloring that. And then this is the dark version of the same color from the same three pack. And maybe I want to highlight some of the leaves. And you can go back through and blend those if you like. And I'll go ahead and finish that up at a later time. But then what will you end up getting is something that looks like this. Um, so I just wanted to show you the kind of compare and contrast. 
So here's what this would, image would look like without having the highlight on the background. Still super cute and everything, but what I'm going to show you is this little um, tip of popping the color by um, using a contrasting color around it. So for this, I'm taking the Coastal Cabana. This is the medium one, and the lids are on here nice and tight. Oh, that's really tight. Which is good, that's what we want. <laughs> we want to make sure that that alcohol does not escape and dry up on us. And what I want to do is just make an outline and go on the inside, anywhere that there's white. And I'm just going to follow the outer shape of our little blossoms here. I think these look like tulips. I'm going to call them tulips. And so... Again, just tracing around it, and all of a sudden, with doing this outline, the image just really pops right off, right off the page. And I'm going to color inside here of the leaves. Come out here on outside again, and it's a and they blend. The color blends so. You know, it's if you go into that, you know, the green leaf a little bit, it's no big deal. And for this example, I kind of like to have it start and stop right around the newspaper. You could go around the newspaper if you wanted, but I really wanted the bouquet to come in here and, and highlight. And then that's the difference. Night and day, isn't it? Both looks are really cute. Um, this just kind of will give you a different option when you're using your blend abilities. Okay, so we have our image, and let's just go ahead and I'll explain how I finished up the card. I stamped a second image, and just with my paper snips, trimmed out the little newspaper, tied some lemon, linen thread around it, and popped it up with a Stampin' Dimensional. And I took that, our layering piece here, and matted it on a piece of Coastal Cabana cardstock. And this is cut at three by four. Adhered that onto it. Ran a piece of um, four by five and a quarter piece of Whisper White cardstock through the fancy fan embossing folder and layered it onto the card base. So, oops. So, you know, you see how that goes. So that's how I finished off the card. And because we don't want, oh, and then the blend abilities, I colored three of the little basic pearls and added those as an accent because we can color the jewels and rhinestones with our blend abilities. And since we don't ever want to send a card on a naked envelope, <laughs> right? I went ahead and stamped the image here in the corner so that, you know, when the recipient of this cute little card gets it, you have a nice, cute, coordinated card. I hope you enjoyed watching my coloring of the, of the Love is Kindness stamp set and having the tip of going around and having a little background to pop your image. Thanks for watching, everybody, and happy crafting. Bye-bye.